I'm Sam. I'm Raina. Before we get into some news that we love, let's look at this dangerous thing. Like for real? For real? Well, I mean, we've seen like real life versions of Wolverine, Claws, Iceman, Cold Blast, and Thor's Meow Meow. Every time we saw those, we were saying, that's some stupidly cool shit right there. But these two flamethrowers attached to your, fi your face? Your face. Your face. Face with a fuel tank attached to the back of your head. Your head. Your head. We can confidently say don't, don't ever, ever try, try this, this at home. home. The props is sufficiently advanced though, the YouTube channel that made this. It's got a lot of cool stuff. Go check it out from a safe distance. Also, this video pointed out when Cyclops or Superman has to use his heat vision, he has to do it like this. Don't look he, at me. He can't just look around like, like a normal person. He's gotta be like, and I'll get you, guy. I'll find you. That's how Cyclops has to fight. Moving along to less dangerous territory, we don't know for sure, but... Potentially. Warner Brothers wants Justin Lin to direct the live-action adaptation of Akira. Now, we need to address the fact that live-action adaptations of anime in movie form just don't work. Okay, but wait, the 2012 Rurouni Kenshin was great. The only live action adaptation I could honestly say is worth watching, and it was distributed by Warner Brothers. I mean, I know it's a far leap to say that that's what makes me trust that Akira's in good hands, but hey, hey stay, stay blindly optimistic. optimistic. Although, it's hard to stay optimistic, considering just earlier this year, Warner Brothers was reportedly having Justin Lin develop a Space Jam sequel with LeBron James, and that's already on his IMDb. I mean, he could do both. I mean, that one guy is directing Fantastic Beasts and Legends of Tarzan, so both those movies have to be okay. You need to get your shit together right now. Don't you see all the criticism Ghost in the Shell is getting? And all we've seen are like two pictures. Like two pictures. Here's another classic you just can't afford to muff up. Muff up. Justin Lin would be a pretty good choice considering his resume as the director of Fast and Furious 6, Furious 5, and the Fast and Furious, and Tokyo Drift, and Star Trek Beyond, which looks dope. I believe in him. You got visuals down at least. There have been some talks in the past about Christopher Nolan taking on Akira and how it'll be a trilogy, and there were also some teasings about Daredevil season two co-showrunner Marco J. Ramirez being hired to put together a storyboard draft for Akira last year. So really, who knows? Stay optimistic. Speaking of Daredevil, what do we love? Slice of Life anime! Close, but it's close because we're gonna do a little plug for a little 101 that she just did on Slice of Life anime. Make sure you check it out right here. Thank you! Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah! Unseen 64, a site dedicated to searching out our fallen video game brethren. Unseen released info on a canceled Superman video game a while back that seemed pretty badass. Also that first person Avengers game. Ooh, that got me excited. Now, Unseen 64 has released an entire breakdown of a canceled Daredevil video game titled Daredevil, The Man Without Fear. That was meant to be released back in 2003 when that Batflick one came out. That is a long time ago. His name is Ben Affleck, but I can't not write Batfleck. Batfleck. <laughs> yeah. It was originally meant to be a small scale game with vignettes of Matt Murdock fighting iconic villains and foes. Then Sony got involved and butted heads with Marvel. Sony wanted a more open world game, much like the first Spider Man game, Good but move. also wanted to include other mechanics of popular games out at the time, which is like 2003. It's 2003. So, like, what, are, what are the mechanics out there? Meaning what that Sony they? wanted to take the grinding mechanics of Tony Hawk games, oh. make Matt Murdock slam on poles and rooftops. That's not what Daredevil does. That's not what Daredevil does. In that's, fact, no. that's like Sunset Overdrive, and that came out like the last. Last year. Yeah, it's not good. That's not okay. They did try to incorporate some of Double D's abilities into the game. Uh, yeah, they did. Similar to the Batman Arkham games, players could shift into a mode that would allow them to see through walls, visualize people's heartbeats, and uh, they could detect their levels of fear so they could take down crooks. It's pretty cool, but it, well, it wasn't quite working when they tried to figure it out. There were a bunch of money issues. The developer 5000 Feet Inc. didn't want to shell out the cash for the proper engine, then they scaled back on the open world, then there were reports that employees were using illegal drugs at work, and the whole thing just collapsed in on itself. Like a dying star. Would a Daredevil Arkham style game be a hit? Probably. There are a bunch of ton characters Dee could go up against and the fun mechanics, you know, would be like a new thing to see. Actually, now that I think about it, it wouldn't be that new because that's exactly what an Arkham game is. Like even the bat baton and the wire, like the gar grappling hook that he can do is exactly what Batman can do. And Hell's Kitchen looks like Gotham. It really does. And also the visual thing where he can like see through walls, that's literally Daredevil, excuse you. Is that what you guys want? What kind of superhero game would you want? Let us know down below. Booster gold, please. Next up, the next gen Furby is here. Anki, known for for making robot cars that can be controlled by your phone has unveiled their latest creation, Cosmo. The CEO of Anki explained that he wanted to bring an animated character into the real world and wanted to make a character people could love. Ooh, we're in love. Like, like Baymax. Baymax. Ooh, we're in love. Ooh. But no, more like uh, Wally. In fact, Cosmo looks a lot like Mo from Wally, the little cleaner robot. Mo. 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 Kill 
cute! Which makes all the sense in the world because his expressive LED eyes are designed by a former Pixar animator. Yay. Brilliant. Cosmo has a camera right under his face that keeps him spatially aware that allows him to know how to navigate around the room to find you. Or you can even mess with him by blocking his way and it frustrates him. He goes, mm. he goes like, mm. This interactive ability is what makes Cosmo so loving. It gives him a personality. Also, he gets four emotions too that can be mixed and matched. Ah! They can react differently to different scenarios. When he's excited, he wants to play a game, and when he wins at a game, he rubs it in. What an asshole. Cosmo is $179 and will go on sale in October, and they're taking pre orders right now on the Anki website. There are also plans in place to release the SDK. That means you'll be able to change Cosmo's AI. I would turn him evil. Oh, no. turn him evil. How evil could he get? What would you do to mess with Cosmo? Let us know down below. Be sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Hey you! You like sharks, right? Yeah. Of course you do! Because they're the dopest animals on the planet. Yeah. So be sure to watch Shark Week this week. Tune in at 8, 7 central only on Discovery. While you're at it, check out sharkweek.com for more information. I'm Reyna. I'm Sam. Bye! <laughs> 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 Mamma mia, Italian song. I done a sing about Italian things, Italian song. Oh, hey Brie. I can uh, see by how slowly you're entering the room that you probably know by now that I have quit comedy and am now a baker.